Greetings from El Toro. It's the holiday season and I've got the perfect gift for you, El Toro Apparel. Visit my website to purchase exclusive apparel and clothing. Not sure what to get your loved one? Well, don't forget that we have gift cards. With any gift card purchase of $50 or more, you'll receive a free five-minute phone session with me. Happy holidays and thank you. Head on over to the website. Bye. Hi, my Sagittarius. It's Elle here to do your mid-November general reading. Now, I don't know if the general reading will not resonate with everyone. This is for, you know, just for you to gain some clarity about whatever's going on in your life. Entertainment purposes, whatever. Now, come on. Um, it looks like my Sag. Maybe dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You don't really want them back. Some of you deal with fire signs just like yourself. Some of you have some really spiritual downloads. Um, it's been heightened for you. Some of you, your sex drive is heightened. Mm. Let's, see. Let's see what's going on. Some of you have been trying to keep your head down and just, you know, go to work, do your work. Some of you are trying to start business. Um, let's see how it's going. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, the moon card. Yeah. Some of you may be having some really prolific dreams. Maybe getting some answers at night during your sleep. Some of you may be even doing like some different little rituals, moon magic, whatever. Keep it in the light. Keep it in the light. All right, six of swords, eight of swords, ten of pentacles, two of swords, temperance. Wow. Some of you, are you could possibly be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They want to get to a more peaceful state. It looks like it's without the partnership. They're trying to come to terms with... Um, what to do in regards to this partnership and they're also waiting for spirit they're waiting for perfect timing some of you are dealing with another Sagittarius like yourself they put something before you in regards to um, they may have even said something like I want my family back hey you're just kind of like I don't know or, or they told you some information about a family family member something like that it puts you in a place of trying to decide if you even want to jump back in whatever's going on with this person um, for you to be at the two of swords not knowing it must have not been you know the best of relationship in the first place so um, that's, it looks like it's Sagittarius with another Sagittarius or an air sign. You're really contemplating, do I even want to jump back in that? Because it's, I don't know, it seems like it's a drama anyway. Or I'm dealing with, you know, some family drama that, it might not even, I feel like it's not even your, your drama. You know, somebody just wants you around. Maybe you're their comfort. You bring a lot of sage wisdom. Let's see. You got the Empress. Ooh, the King of Swords. Yeah, so we're definitely dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, the bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. All right, so clearly we have three people here. Um. in the midst of a, a situation it looks romantic Sagittarius may have gotten someone pregnant it looks like or somebody outside of the connection outside of an established connection here uh, 
Sagittarius is in and out. They love the both of you. They're conflicted about where they want to be. But they love the both of you. Look, and then here is Sagittarius in the middle. This could be for my Sagittarius woman, Sagittarius man. Or Sag, or Sag, somebody else has someone else. Or you are the other woman. And you're wondering when this person will, you know, stop the in and out, the back and forth. It just looks like there's somebody that has love for the both. There's love and then there's obligation. Yep, Queen of Diamonds comes out again. Three of Hearts. The Four of Clubs. Five of Clubs. Nine of Diamond. Um, wow. So this this card talks about new love and new marriage and then it sits on the ace of cups so i don't know if sad is going to make the move to someone else there's inner conflict in regard there there's secrets there's jealousy something happens this is um an unexpected bad event it happens to where maybe sad then chooses to move away from and go to what may be new is progression four and then the five so it might even just to be single or they're going towards a person who they look at as the the knight of pentacles or nine of diamonds type of person someone that they can really establish something with this could be you sad this could be someone you're dealing with um I have the king of swords Let's get some angel answers in here to see what's going on here. And see what what sad should release, what they should keep. Got the nine of diamonds there. Also talks about being restless in your current job because it's a business opportunity that you want to, you know, embark on. So that's for somebody out there. So we have not the right time, trust, opportunity. Meditation brings answers if you believe. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify these. These angel answers, we're gonna clarify and then talk about it over at the website. See what is happening for my Sagittarius. Not the right time. What is not the right time for my Sag? Mm, okay. Trust. Opportunity. Ooh, nice car for opportunity. Meditation brings answers. High Priestess. Gotta tell you that one. Listen to your intuition. If you believe. Nice. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to go over to the website and we're going to talk about these cards and kind of clarify them even more. It looks very good for my Sagittarius. Very lucky sign. I think they're the luckiest and then there's Libra. I don't know. Um, but luck of the draw is always with you guys. All right. Uh, Sagittarius, now that I'm praying for you, pray for me as well. Thank you. Take care. I'll see you over at my website. Bye.